dear viewers welcome to our channel gvs bank account today i am going to discuss about rbi notifications issued in september 21 first september to 13 september what are the important notifications are there that we are going to discuss these notifications are very very important for jab cab bank promotional exam written examination and uh, interviews also now foreign exchange management act exports of goods and services amendment regulation 2021 rbi notification dated 8th september 2021 what is their their rate of interest rate of interest if any payable on the advance amount received by the exporter sometimes exporters are receiving advance payment advance amount towards exports on this advance amount if the exporter want to pay rate of interest on the advance uh, receipt amount it shall not exceed 100 basis points above the london interbank offer rate or any other applicable benchmark rate as directed by the reserve bank at the case so whenever the exporter is getting advance remittance towards exports on that advance payment amount export is allowed to pay only libor plus 100 basis points or any other applicable benchmark rate plus 100 basis points so this is the when if the exporter want to pay interest on the advance payment received from the importer this is the question large exposure framework so this is large you know presently as of date large exposure framework is going on single counter single counter party and group counter parties and credit risk mitigation crm credit risk mitigation for offsetting for netting non centrally clear derivative transaction means non centrally clear derivative transaction means otc derivatives by foreign bank branches in india with their head of foreign banks operating in india dealing with their head office in non centrally clear derivative transactions how we can offset that is the point the amount held under section 11 subsection 2 b1 of the banking regulation act and earmarked as crm credit risk mitigation shall be disclosed by the bank in bank balance sheet schedule number 1 bank balance sheet schedule number 1 capital to the balance sheet as what is the disclosure an amount of dash current year an amount an amount of dash current year in the bracket previous year amount out of the amount held deposit under 112b all the foreign bank branches operating in india they have to maintain deposit with rbi out of the deposit of the india has been designated some of the part of the amount as designated utilized as credit risk mitigation for offsetting for netting of non centrally clear derivative transactions to head office to including overseas branches and it, and it is not recognized as regulatory capital what are the amount used for offsetting the non centrally clear derivative transaction that amount is not going to be taken into consideration of regulatory capital as per 11 to b1 that amount they have to disclose separately in the bank balance sheet schedule number 1 capital to the balance sheet this is about large exposure framework credit risk mitigation technique where offsetting the amount of non centrally clear derivative transaction this is about that. now master direction reserve bank of india now from long back this is a what do you there now rbi has issued Mark, market makers in otc market maker, makers means intermediaries who are creating demand for the derivative product market makers means who are creating demand when all the in the market all the all are buyers these people will market makers will become seller all are sellers in the market these market makers will become buyers in the otc derivative transactions otc means 
non exchange traded otc means in between two eligible parties without stock exchange intervention that is called this is market makers in otc derivative master's direction they had given this is the for otc derivatives this is the single circular all banks has to follow all participants has to now a generic derivative means they had given the following type of derivatives under otc non exchange traded what are the otc derivative forward rate agreement forward rate agreement this is otc derivative short term interest rate uh, risk management foreign exchange forward contract this is also old old primitive uh, exchange instrument for exchange forward contract interest rate swap exchange of one interest rate to another rate of interest this is also non exchange trade foreign exchange foreign currency exchange of one foreign currency to another foreign currency currency swap also credit default swaps or credit derivatives this is also coming in a big way credit default swap or credit derivatives now almost banks and financial institutions are purchasing the credit default swaps to mitigate their credit risk in advances or investments in bonds that is credit default swap interest rate for mitigating interest call option or put option which is going to be exercised on the last date strike date of the contract that is called european option european option means it is going to be cancelled settled on the date of the expiry date of the contract interest rate cap interest rate floor this is also european contract foreign exchange call option right to buy put option right to sell that is also european european means settlement on the last date of the contract or strike date of the contract that is there. this is the master direction it is a very big circular very big circular now rbi had given a master circular on investment to urban cooperative banks now as of date lot of importance is given by rbi to urban cooperative banks urban cooperative banks how they are some of the important points which are specifically applicable to non -co urban cooperative banks non slr investments how much a urban cooperative bank can invest in non slr investments means non slr investments shall be limited to 10% of bank's total deposits as on 31st march non slr means private investment other than government investments how much they are allowed to invest maximum 10% of bank's total deposits that is amount urban cooperative banks may allow invest in the following instruments credit rating a or equivalent to higher rated commercial paper debentures and bonds so rbi is giving direction to urban cooperative banks in the non slr investment a rated bonds equivalent higher rated commercial paper and debentures bonds units of debt mutual funds and money market mutual funds units of debt and money market mutual funds also they can shares of market infrastructure companies also urban cooperative banks are allowed under non slr investment category how much they are allowed to invest maximum 10% of bank's total deposits total deposits prudential limits what is the use of prudential limits prudential limits is a indicative direction from the rbi that to avoid the excess exposure excess concentration in a particular product borrower etc the total amount of deposits total amount of deposits placed by urban cooperative banks the total amount of deposits placed by urban cooperative banks with all other banks with other banks inter banks all purposes including call money overnight notice money 2 to 14 days and deposits also one urban cooperative bank can deposit with others also huh? for availing clearing facility for availing constituent subsidy general ledger facility 
currencies facility maximum should not exceed 20% of the total deposit. One urban cooperative bank can deposit can deposit interbank for all the purposes maximum not exceeding 20% of the urban cooperative bank deposits as on 31st March. This is overall exposure with other banks with all other banks. This 20. This another limit, counterparty limit means one exposure, one bank within the prudential interbank rasp as above, deposit with any single bank, not exceeding 5%. Totally they can uh, invest 20% uh, with any one bank, one counterparty, one bank, maximum 5% of bank deposits. Because as of today, so many banks are facing problem. That's why these limits are going to be very helpful in the management of urban cooperative banks. Total 20% in a particular bank, 5% number. Number 3, this is also very good step. Very good step. Whether urban cooperative banks are facing difficulty in withdrawal of deposit from a weak state cooperative bank. For example, Punjab Maharashtra Cooperative Bank. Now some banks are deposited with the urban cooperative bank of Punjab Maharashtra Cooperative Bank. They are not getting their deposits. At that time, whether whenever UCBs are facing difficulty in withdrawal of deposits, which are already deposited with other cooperative banks, they are getting facility difficulty for withdrawal. They shall make a provision. They shall make a provision to the extent of 10% of the deposit with them on their exposure. For an every year, 10%, 10%, they have to create a provision on the deposit amount also. This is a unique step. When an urban cooperative bank is maintaining deposit with other cooperative banks, that bank is facing difficulty for making payments of the urban cooperative bank deposits. The urban cooperative bank shall make a provision to the extent of 10% for an This is about master circular. This is also a very big circular. But only important points are we yeah, am covering. Now, after a long time, master direction, Reserve Bank of India, securitization of standard assets. Master direction, one circular covering 60 to 70 pages. Securitization of standard assets. Securitization means sale of, transfer of, standard assets directions. This is applicable, this circular is applicable to whom? All scheduled commercial banks, small finance banks, all India financial institutions, non-banking financial companies, housing finance companies, not applicable to regional rural banks. So this is applicable to these banks. This is securitization, sale of standard assets. Assets not eligible for securitization. What type of assets are not eligible sale of under this uh, securitization of standard assets? Already securitized assets, resecuritization, not allowed. Commercial paper, not allowed. Revolving credit facilities, just like LC, revolving LC, that is not allowed. CC, revolving facilities. Restructured, already loan account is restructured, that is also not allowed. Refinance exposure, already taken refinance. Again, that it is not going to allow. Refinance exposure of All India Financial Institution, that loan is also not eligible for securitization of standard assets. So, re-securitization not eligible, commercial paper not eligible, revolving credit facilities, revolving letter of credit, cash credit facilities, restructured loans and advances, which are in the specific period, not refinance. Loans with bullet repayment period is also there. These loans are not eligible for sale of or securitization of standard assets. Specific. Before sale, before transfer, how much minimum retention they have to MRR? Minimum retention requirement for underlying loans with original maturity of 24 months or less. Suppose any bank is transferring a secured advance less than for maturity 24 months or less period. The minimum retention requirement is 5% of the book value. So, any loan with 
maturity of 24 months or less period, the bank is security transfer. Out of that loan, at least 5% of the amount they have to retain in their books. So, it is not allowed entire percent. Out of total loan, at least they have to retain 5% if the original maturity of the loan is 24 months or less. For underlying loans with original maturity of above 24 months and as well as loans with bullet repayments, minimum retention requirement is 10% of the total book value of the loan. Less than 24 months, 5%. 24 months above, 10% is the minimum retention requirement of the amount, book value amount. Third one, in case of residential mortgage backed securities, that means securities backed by mortgage of securities, the MRR for the original originator means bank shall be 5% of the book value. With respect of the original maturity, mortgage loans backed by securities. MRR, minimum retention period is, uh, amount is 5% uh, of the book value. So, the entire amount is not going to be allowed. So, less than 24 months, 5% of the book value they have to retain. About 24 months, 10% they have to retain book value. Where mortgage-backed securities, irrespective of the original maturity, 5% they have to retain book value. Bank originators means bankers shall sell assets to special purpose entity only on cash basis. So, whatever they are transferring, selling, selling only on cash basis. Only on cash basis. Only. No question of any other um, bonds, etc. Entire person, 100 percent cash. And the sale concession should be received not later than the transfer of the before transfer of the asset, they have to receive the entire sale consideration in cash basis. Very good step. Now, limit on total retained exposure by originators. If any bank want to take exposure in a retail securitization exposure, this is as an investor. Limit on total retained exposure by originator means banks to a particular securitization exposure. It cannot exceeding 20% of the total. If any bank want to take a exposure in a um, securitization of standard assets, it can take maximum 20% of the total securitization exposure of the particular transaction. This is from investment side by the banker. Lenders, invest, the bank which is a, Taking the standard assets from other banks, they have to calculate the risk weighted assets for credit risk of securitization exposure. After purchase, they have to maintain CRAR also. External, external rating based approach for loans. It is short term loans A1. A1 is the rating short term, risk weight is 15 percent. In the Banks books, we had purchased the standard assets from other banks. They have to maintain CRIR on short term loans based on risk rating. Rating is A1, risk weight is 15. Rating is A2, risk weight is 50. Rating is A3, risk weight is 100. All other ratings 1250. Risk weight is 1250. This is the Securitization exposure based on short term ratings. A1 15%, A2 risk weight 50, 50, A3 100, all other ratings 1250. And unrated exposure, equivalent amount of exposure. If any loan is unrated, the lender shall maintain capital charge equivalent to the actual exposure. This is about the. So, this is about securitization of standard assets. Transfer. Securitization means sale of. Now, another direction given by RBI on same date on September 24th, RBI had given two guidelines. One is securitization of standard assets, sale of standard assets and transfer of loan exposure. Both guidelines as given by RBI on 24-9-2021. This circular is around 31 pieces and uh, securitization of standard asset that is around 60 pages. So, both are very very important 
in the coming examination promotion process particularly huh? this circular is applicable to all scheduled commercial banks small finance banks rrbs cooperative banks all india financial institutions non banking financial companies housing finance now there is a trend in the examination now this they are giving the circular whether it is applicable to whom that question also now recently in the examination they are asking that's why better to know to whom it is applicable always transfer on cash basis only the consideration shall be received not later than the transfer of the loan assets that is very good step whatever the loans are transfer they are not in default category not in default category minimum holding period after how much minimum holding period the banks are allowed to transfer 3 months after minimum holding period or 3 months in case of loan tenure period up to 2 years any loan is up to 2 years minimum they have to hold 3 year 3 months after holding of 3 months they are allowed to transfer to others where the repayment total tenure is 2 years 6 months in case of loans with a tenure of more than 2 years loan tenure is more than 2 years 6 months they have to hold it is a good step minimum holding period is not applicable to other lenders under a syndication of arrangement under loan syndication this condition is not applicable because they want to transfer from one bank to another bank under loan syndication this is about minimum holding period very very important 3 months in case of loans with tenor up to 2 years 6 months holding in case of loans with tenor of more than 2 years once the bank is transferring that bank cannot repurchase the once after transfer again the same asset is not going to be purchased by the bank it, it is not allowed to re, to reacquire the loan either fully or for this is very transparent circular exact circular for the banks regarding transfer of loans this is transfer of loans which are not in default these conditions transfer of loans which are not in default these conditions transfer of loans stressed loans what is meant by stressed loans transfer of stressed loans stressed loans means that export is class classified as npa or special mentioned accounts sma 0 1 and 2 stressed accounts mean this is the definition now the transfer of stressed assets stressed loans must be done through assignment transfer to others or novation means a separate fresh contract novation means a separate fresh contract to the seller loan participation is not permitted participation means jointly 50 50 20 30 30 40 80 20 only sale means entire amount is going to be transferred there is no question of participation joint participation stressed loans which are in default for more than 60 days are classified as np so means sma to or npa are allowed to transfer to arcs also if they are telling to asset recovery companies either default is more than 60 days that is sma to or classified as npa banks are allowed to transfer to asset reconstruction companies at the time of lenders should hold the acquired stress assets at least 6 months after purchase of the loan from bank if the again that bank want to sell to others at least 6 months they have to retain before transferring to others from the date of purchase of the loan from other banks the bank the arc at least they have to maintain in their books 6 months before transferring to other lenders so at least retention is 6 months is required whatever the acquired loans are there the acquired stressed loans shall be classified as trans standard by the transferee bank or arc 
the purchase loans the transfer loans shall be classified standard by the transferee thereafter the asset classification status will be determined by record of recovery in the books of the transferee purchase bank with reference to cash flow estimated at the time of transfer so means the lender after purchase of the uh, transfer of the loans from the by bank the bank want to sell to others at least they have to retain 6 months and uh, the um, transferee bank they can show in standard assets thereafter the asset can be treated as uh, determined by the record of recovery based on class portion cash flow estimated at the time the lenders after transferi bank transferi bank arc shall assign a 100% risk weight to the np acquired from the other lenders after acquiring the loans from other banks they have to maintain a risk weight of 100% for crir purpose capital purpose as long as if they are showing a standard category up to standard category the transferi bank is showing risk weight is 100% after that if the loans are classified as npa risk weights as applicable to npa shall be applicable so up to standard category 100% risk weight they have to maintain transferi bank if the account current to npa based on risk weights npa risk weight based on outstanding provision in that account accordingly you have to follow now this is one of the thing related to libor libor is going to impending cj it is going to be disappear after 31st december libor is not going to be quoted after 31st december in view of the impending cjation of libor with effect from 31st december as a benchmark it is not going to appear as benchmark rate it has been decided to permit authorized dealer banks to use any other widely accepted used as alternative reference in the currency concern for such transactions by various users libor is going to be disappeared in place of libor all authorized bank to use any other widely used accepted alternative reference rate this is about uh, Huh? any reference rate in place of libor for interest this is about the dear viewers this is a very this month september month rbi has issued lot of notifications out of that had covered some important points which are very very useful for promotion exam written examination promotion interview jab and cab exams also and any other of a um, professional exam thank you very much viewers for extending all uh, hearted support for our group further we are already started the jab cab classes for um, january and december 2022 examination online classes interested members are requested to contact thank you very much for